This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items for other various TF2 items. Any money that will be left over in one of your trades that you overpaid by gets added to your wallet which you can then use in future trades. They also hold pretty regular giveaways so the link to Manco.Trade will be down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about stuff in regards to Team Fortress 2 as a game. Um, and kind of talking about where it can really go from here, you know. And what I believe to be the main problem with Team Fortress 2 at the moment. So, it's no secret to anyone remotely involved in Team Fortress 2 that... I mean, there's no other way of saying this, we're definitely in a content drought at the moment. I even saw a post on the front page of the Team Fortress 2 Reddit, uh, kind of like, you know, alerting everyone what was going on, and it said something along the lines of, are we really letting Valve get away with this, with a post saying that it's been over 500 days since we've had a major content update to Team Fortress 2. Now, obviously, in these 510 or so days, um since we've had an update there's been smaller updates for example like scream fortress we've had blue moon um we've had the smithmas ones as well but nothing really substantial you know the smithmas update for example in 2018 was literally just cases and that was it there was literally nothing added scream fortress was good i'd argue that scream fortress was kind of a content update i mean uh, to the extent that we had more than cases, you know, that's really the expectations we're going with now. But uh, I think the main point is we haven't had a big update since Jungle Inferno. People will argue that there hasn't been like a substantial update with like balance changes or new kind of weapons added or anything overly substantial since Jungle Inferno. And around the time Jungle Inferno came out, Valve said that it was most likely going to give a heavy update as well or well, whichever class didn't win would still re receive an update and i think that's why a lot of people are kind of you know a bit upset by this and a bit upset about the fact that it's been so long now and we've all been kind of like sat on the edge of our seats waiting for valve to drop this heavy update but everyone's slowly starting to sit back in their seats now because we're kind of realizing that you know it's been so long and we haven't received anything and this point leads me into what i actually want to talk about which is going to be I believe that TF2's main problem, or the, the main problem with the TF2 dev team, is communication. There's little to no communication with content creators, with big figures in the community, with anyone publicly about what's going on behind the scenes. So, for example, here is some screenshots of CSGO's Twitter. CSGO is also ran by Valve, obviously, they have a different dev team to Team Fortress 2's, but it gives you an idea of how in touch they are with their community, you know? Like, my i put this tweet out essentially saying that it would be so nice if valve could like or, or the team fortress 2 twitter account rather could put out a couple updates every few months just saying you know there's we're still working on this update we're working on balance changes or we're working on new weapons or or we're picking out cosmetics for a case or just something little just to give us that inclination of hope so we don't we don't lose that hope and i think that's a big kind of problem is that the people that have been playing this game for a long time because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes they're starting to lose hope we as a community have no idea what's going on behind the scenes we don't know for all we know they could be working on the biggest update ever new weapons like a 10th bloody class for example they like they could literally be working on the biggest thing ever a whole new game mode like the, the heavy update new balance changes all that kind of all that kind of stuff but we don't know a thing about it so there's this kind of communication block and maybe that's the way the tf team want it maybe they'd prefer to kind of like work without having to let people know and kind of work in silence if they are working on anything but i definitely feel like there needs to be some sort of middle ground where they can put out a blog post for example or even just a little post on like the subreddit from a valve employee or something just saying like hey you know, we're, we're still working on stuff, don't forget about us. And it would just give people that hope. It would give people, like, that reassurance that there's actually stuff going on behind the scenes because a lot of people are scared. I think that's the best way to describe it. There's always going to be people that love Team Fortress 2. There's always going to be a player base around it. But at the moment, 
it just seems like Valve have put everything on the back foot and it makes the player base feel less wanted which will lead them to go on to other games that are updated more frequently where they actually feel wanted and appreciated by the developers themselves because at the moment Valve are you know putting all this money and all this all these resources into Artifact and I appreciate that it's a different team of developers but imagine if they funded Team Fortress 2 with just half as much as they funded Artifact with. Artifact right now as I'm making this video has about 400 players compared to around 50,000 of Team Fortress 2. Like they could do so much with Team Fortress 2 if they wanted to. If they wanted to put the resources in they could do so much more than what they currently are but maybe they just don't want to. Maybe that's it. I don't know I'm just kind of thinking to myself so the main update that everyone is expecting to be the next update is the heavy update and if it's going to be anything like jungle inferno then we're in for quite a big update we're probably going to see new weapons and stuff but does that warrant nearly two years you know like i i'm a bit skeptical now that when the tf team put out this update it's going to be incredibly underwhelming because we've been waiting for so long and because it's been such a large drought we're expecting this big update what if it's underwhelming? What if it's just a few cosmetic cases and, and like, one weapon or, or something like that, you know? Um, I was watching a, the last Valve News Network video, which was fantastic, by the way. I definitely recommend you go and check it out. But he said that, um, you know, everyone who's been in contact with the TF team has kind of been saying that the TF team are hard at work on this next big update. But they've been saying this since, like, Jungle Inferno. So this big update could have been the Scream Fortress one. We just don't know. And th once again, this comes back to the communication barrier. Another statistic I thought was super interesting was that when the Team Fortress 2 Smithmas 2018 update dropped, TF2 hit its all-time high player peak of over 100,000 people. Now, admittedly, you know, the, a lot of the people that, or a lot of the statistics were made up from people going on the game to get their gift stuff to stock in, or bot accounts going on to farm items and stuff like that. But it's like such a small update with barely anything in can still bring in those massive numbers, can still bring in numbers of over 100,000 to a game that's this old. Like, is that not a massive wake up call to Valve? Like, when Artifact's getting 400 players and they can drop a tiny update to Team Fortress 2 and receive over 100,000, like, if I was Valve, I would see that as a massive wake up call to be like, okay, we're clearly putting all our, ho all our money on the wrong horse here, let's, you know, back Team Fortress 2 a bit. I don't know man, I just feel like they're so out of touch with the community and it would be so so simple for them to actually just get back in touch with the community you know like the, if they had one person who had a subreddit or one person who was active on twitter like it would be so easy for them to just get in touch hear what people want hear what people think and kind of like act on that a lot of people think that age is a big factor with team fortress 2 in the sense that because it's such an old game it's not really worth investing time into however i really don't see this as an issue at all personally i think that if valve actually started releasing updates regularly again they could actually make team fortress 2 really popular we saw what the update in smithmas did we reached an all-time high player peak if they actually release stuff more frequently it would give people an incentive to start playing again maybe old players that haven't touched the game in years due to the lack of content will pick the game back up maybe new players will see a game that people are starting to play more and it'll be like a domino effect I feel like if they back Team Fortress 2 as passionately as they are with other games Team Fortress 2 could genuinely be up there with one of the most played games again and that's just not me saying that because I'm a fan or because I'm a YouTuber that's me saying that because I genuinely believe that it has so so much potential and Valve are just ignoring it or at the very least, not putting as much spotlight on it as they should be, and prioritising other projects. I don't know, I just feel like that in conclusion, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The only thing keeping Team Fortress 2 going right now is the community. By far, I'd say Team Fortress 2 has one of the strongest and most loyal communities out there in terms of video games. But it's just the fact we don't know what the future holds. The next update could be great, it could revive Team Fortress 2, get it, like, trending again, or it could be Valve announcing that they're cutting off support to the game. And it's that lack of communication that puts fear into all of the player base and makes us really unsure of where we stand. And I think we just need that reassurance of, hey, we're still working on the game. Don't worry, we're working on this, we're working on that. That would really kind of like 
relieve everyone from feeling so anxious of the game, you know, getting its support cut off, essentially. I don't know, guys. I think this is a really interesting talking point, so do let me know your thoughts on this down below. It will be really interesting to hear your guys' opinions. I just felt like I kind of had to get it out there in a video and just kind of like vent for a bit. I just kind of wanted to get all my thoughts out there about the current state of Team Fortress 2 and where we can really go from here. And I do think that the first step has got to be communication. We could get an update tomorrow and we would be none the wiser. Like literally, it could just drop and it would catch everyone off guard. And I'm not necessarily sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But guys, that is just about it for this video. If you did enjoy, then please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and peace.